hey virgo welcome to my channel thank you all for being here i really appreciate the love and support if this reading resonates with you please don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to my channel and make sure to turn on that notification bell so you can be notified when i upload new videos please remember that there is no gender in tarot it's just energy and timing is fluid so these events can be past present or future take what resonates and leave what does not this is a general reading so everything that i say will not be significant to you and your story Info about me and my personal readings will be in the description box below. So Virgo, everybody's having a good day. Um, let's see what we have for you guys. I'm going to be pulling from this tea leaf deck just to get some overall energy and see what's going on. Oh, okay. Not yet, Virgos. Okay, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, what do we have for my Virgos? What do we have for my Virgo spirit? What is going on with the Virgo collective? What do they need to hear? What is going on with them? I have a Virgo rising, so let's see what this reading is about, y'all. What is going on with, oh, okay. <laughs> so we have camel, preserve and you will overcome problems. Oh, uh, persevere, I'm sorry, I thought I said preserve. Persevere. Yep, so keep pushing forward. Whatever you're doing, um, the problem will be solved if you keep pushing forward here. What I'm hearing is your hard work will pay off. So let's see what else. Claw. Be careful. Do not take risk. Hmm. So there's something maybe that you want to do. Maybe it's not a good time to do it right now. Hmm. I wonder why it says do not take risk. Hmm. In order to move forward, you have to take risk. So there must be a reason for that. So we're going to see with the tarot. Let's get one more. One more for Virgo spirit guides. One more for my Virgo collective. What's going on? Bottom of the deck, we have a bowl. Plenty of material things. Oh. The moon is in Virgo today, so you guys are coming up on some moolah. Or it doesn't have to be moolah, but <laughs> something. Something materialistic, something that's tangible. Oops. Okay, it says barrel. You feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. So if it is money, <laughs> that's coming in. That's definitely coming in here for you guys. So let's see what it is that you are lacking. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see for Virgos. Um, oh, why my music go off? I Love You by Faith Evans is on, so you probably do love somebody. Maybe you and this person are not speaking right now. Hmm. But it's saying something that you're gonna do might not be a good idea um right now maybe so let's see what this claw means let's see what comes out in the um tarot for you guys spirit guides angels ancestors father god please give me the messages for virgo what do they need to hear what is going on with my virgo collective please and thank you What do we have for my Virgo Collective? What is going on with them? Six of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, your energy. Virgos are really, really sweet. Um, <clears throat> you could be giving back to the community right now. You could be feeding the homeless a lot, which is so beautiful. I'm feeling like you're wanting balance, you're needing balance. It did say that something is out of balance in your life or you're missing something or you're lacking something. So it looks like with this being your overall energy that it's gonna be reciprocated 
things are going to be coming back into balance like if it's a person they're going to reciprocate that energy back to you and vice versa but um your focus is this equal give and take here as your overall energy so hmm let's see I feel like the more you give back, the more blessed you will become here. That's usually how it works, isn't it? The more you give, you get it back tenfold. So these might be your blessings coming in with this bowl here, plenty of material things. Yeah, you guys are going to be blessed for giving back to the community, I feel like. Or giving, giving to whoever. And helping people in their time of need here. So let's see for Virgo Spirit. What is the message for my Virgos? What is going on with Virgo Collective? What is going on with the Virgo Collective Spirit guys? What is going on with the Virgo Collective Spirit? Okay, seven of wands. That was aggressive, so <laughs> maybe there's some aggression going on with something, or I don't know. But Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Seven of Wands. Um, you could really be guarded against something. Maybe you're feeling like you have to fight for something right now. Hmm. Maybe there's something you did here. You took some type of risk and now you're realizing that it's not what it seemed to be here. But I'm feeling like maybe you're fighting for something. Let's see, we wanna clarify. What's going on with um, Virgo Spirit? What else? You're guarded against a couple people. Like maybe there could be um, six people or five or six people ganging up on you about something. Maybe that's going to be for a little bit of you, not all of you. So let me see. Virgos. Fair gods. What else is going on with my Virgos? The Emperor. Yeah, you're having to stand up for something. You're, you're, you're standing in your power. You're strong. This is Aries energy. <clears throat> you're um, very powerful right now. You're taking action. You could be trying to open up a business or you have a business open here. Could be working really hard. But then we have the Seven of Swords and the Three of Swords here. So maybe somebody is trying to steal something from you or lie. I don't know why I heard lie on your name or maybe someone has cheated or deceived you in some type of way here. And you're defending yourself against this person or this thing or... Yeah, you're having to really stand up for yourself right now. Let's see, what else, Cobra, though? Maybe you're trying to protect the business, trying to protect your money, I heard, or something. What else, for Virgo Spirit? What is the message from my Virgo Collective? I love you so much by Monica is a lot of love. <laughs> well, let's see what this is about, y'all. Let's see. For Virgo Spirit, what do we have? What is going on with the Virgo Collective? Okay, Virgo. Y'all don't want to talk, huh? <laughs> and then y'all can all come flying out. The hermit card virgo energy <laughs> so right now you guys are you guys could be studying something or this is right in the heart so right now you guys are pretty quiet i feel like you have to move in secret or something something's very secretive and mysterious about this reading here wow nine of swords with the eight of swords Someone could really be worried about something. This could be your person or somebody that you're dealing with that's in your energy or this could be you really worried or feeling trapped and stuck and 
And then we have the chariot behind that moving forward. Cancer energy. So I don't know, but with this hermit card, you guys are in hermit mode right now. You're probably not speaking to many people. You're probably like um, doing some soul searching, really finding yourselves and really learn. I feel like learning about yourselves here. I feel like people are bothering you and you just want to be in hermit mode. You want to be left alone here. You're having to defend yourself against people here. You're having to stand up towards these people or stand up to these people or something like that. Wow, well, leave my Virgos alone. <laughs> what is going on, Virgo? I don't know, I feel like a weird energy or something. You probably like know not to take a risk on something and that's why you're in hermit mode. Hmm, what's going on with, what else for Virgo said? But I feel like there's something, um, maybe you've been enlightened about something. And now you're having to um, defend yourself against this person or these people or this thing, whatever is, is going on here. Could be something on your finances. Why is, um, what else there? What else are they messages for Virgo? There's a lot of like not talking. These cards do not want to talk <laughs> at all. For Virgo, spirit guides, angels, what do we have? Page of Cups. Yeah, communication is coming in towards you. The Seven of Swords again. So somebody is trying to definitely do something here. Somebody is trying to do some sneaky shit. <laughs> but there's an, it looks like there's an apology coming in or a message of love or from someone here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be one of those signs. But there's communication coming in. Maybe you're guarded against this person that's trying to apologize to you. Like you, with the hermit card, turns, uh, their back turned to this page of cups person. You are not really focused on them. I feel like this is you. You're focused on yourself here. You're really focused on yourself. You're not, you're not wanting to accept this apology here that's coming in or something like that. Maybe you feel like this is bullshit. With the seven of swords here, you feel like it's bullshit. Let's see, one more for Virgos, then we want to clarify. One more for Virgos, Spirit Guys, Ace of Cups. Yeah, new love is coming in towards you and the death card at the bottom of the deck for the outcome. So, Scorpio energy. You've definitely ended something here and you're, you know, going through a rebirth of some sort. Maybe getting rid of people and things that don't serve you anymore really working on yourself i feel like you're working on yourself really hard or working hard on something i'm gonna clarify let's see yeah but there's new love coming in here towards you here um you could already know this person with the page of cups being here maybe you don't see this new love coming here you got your back turned to it so you don't really see it coming in i feel like I feel like you, you've pushed so hard and you healed so much that you are now in your emperor energy. You're guarded against shit that does not make you a better person or does not help you along the way. That's what I feel like this energy is here. You feel like love is lacking maybe and love is coming in here. You're ready to give to this person equally now with the six of pentacles here. Maybe you want to give this person something too or there's a gift coming in for you. Or something like that. Come on, cards. <laughs> okay. Okay, spirit guides, angels for Virgos. What is going on with my Virgos? Let's clarify this seven of wands here. I feel like a scattered energy. Like, is there a lot going on with you guys, Virgos? What is going on with y'all? What is going on for my Virgo collective spirit guides? Okay, let's clarify the seven of wands for the Virgos. I was playing These Are the Times by Drew Hill. Seven of Swords. This damn seven of swords is just like 
Yeah, you feel like you really have to protect yourself against something because somebody is trying to do some sneaky shit. And I think you can feel this energy. You've ended something with someone or ended something in your life and now people are trying to like do shit to you or something. And you're just trying to work on yourself here. You're I think that's what it is. Like, you know, when you've been spiritually awakened and you're growing and people see that you're growing, they're gonna try to come in and distract you here. I feel like this is devil energy here. Could be a Capricorn. I'm not saying that the Capricorns are devilish, but you guys get what I'm saying. That's the tarot card is a Capricorn. The devil is. <laughs> so I don't know. Like someone sees you trying to do something or plan something and they're like trying to come in the mix and do some shit or steal from you or something. Ugh, disgusting. What else for the seven of wands spirit? What's um for Virgo? What is the seven of wands? What are they protecting themselves against? Because now I feel like it's guarded. You're guarded against something, but I also feel like you're fighting for something as well. So what is this um seven of wands for my Virgos? Swords again at the bottom of the deck. Three of Cups, Ace of Swords, Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> okay, so I'm feeling like you're fighting for a reconciliation with someone. You are wanting to get back together with someone. You're wanting to um Three of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You're you're fighting. You're trying to offer someone something. And come in with some truth and clarity here about a situation or something like that and i don't know i'm feeling mixed things like i'm feeling like you are guarded against this offer that someone is trying to get you to take but you're also fighting for a person here are you fighting for a person brother are you fighting for someone here? Let's see. Let me put this Ace of Swords here in the front. Yeah, maybe you're, maybe you're, somebody's trying to offer you something and you're just like really guarded against it. Someone wants to, you know, go out with you or maybe, okay, you could be guarded against a group of friends or a group of people. Maybe these person, these people are toxic here and you're just trying to, Protect yourself. You're working on yourself. You're not really wanting to hang out with these people or something like that. <laughs> like, I'm hearing, like, no, this offer is too little for me. I don't want it. You guys are not adding nothing to my life. You're only taking away. And you're guarded against it. Let me see. What is this Ace of Swords here? But I also feel like that there, because the Ace of Swords stands for new beginnings of, of truth and honesty, clarity coming in communication coming in of the truth here so let's see why is this ace of swords here with the seven of wands why is this ace of swords here with the seven of wands here why is this ace of swords here spirit for virgo why is this ace of swords here the hermit again in this deck so <laughs> yeah i feel like a lot of focus on self right now like you're in hermit mode you're not wanting to be bothered with people or something like that but with the six of cups here yeah there's somebody from your past that you want to talk to here you miss this person you want to deliver good news you want to deliver a message of truth and honesty maybe just somebody um from your childhood somebody you grew up with or Somebody you have past lives with with the Six of Cups here. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That energy is coming up strong. Whatever you want by Tony Tone is on. So, yeah, like, you're, I feel like you're fighting for this person here. You're really... I feel like you're trying to change for this person in a healthy way here. Maybe you had some toxic things going on with you in the past. And you're really trying to change yourself. You're really working on yourself really, really hard. Yeah, you're working on your stability. You're walking away from things that no longer serve you. Could be walking away from another person here with this lover's card and walking to your happiness. So let's see. Why is this emperor here for Virgo? Like you're becoming knowledgeable about a lot of things. You could be learning a lot. Maybe you're taking a course here in school or 
could be in school learning something or something like that. Researching things. Page of Cups. Page of Cups twice here. Yeah, you step in your emperor energy and you're wanting to give an apology or some sort or send a message. There's two messenger cards here. This situation could involve kids as well because I'm seeing pages all over the place. So it could involve kids or someone a little bit younger than you. But if this person is younger than you, they stepped up dramatically. They became the emperor here. <laughs> they went from a page to an emperor. But pages can also mean communication. So if emperor has grew up, they want to present themselves in the right way this time. If something didn't work out in the past here with this death card, obviously something didn't. This person is wanting to offer you an apology. And I heard tell you that they love you. Let's see, what else for the emperor here? Why is the emperor here for Virgo? Why is the emperor here for Virgo? The Hierophant, yeah. They, I, I feel like they've learned a lot. They went through a spiritual awakening, I feel. The Hierophant is Taurus energy. They've went through an awakening. They could be getting advice. I'm feeling like somebody is strongly getting counseling or therapy or advice from a spiritualist here. Gaining spiritual wisdom. Divine guidance, I'm hearing. Really, really stepping into their divine power here. They have grew a lot. They're wanting a higher level of commitment. They want to do things the traditional way, get married, have kids, you know, that whole thing. Like they really want this. Or they, they can see you this way as a hierophant, as somebody that really helped them here grow. Oh yeah, I'm feeling that energy strong here. Yeah, you could have helped this person grow a lot. You could have helped keep them grounded here. You could have helped them, you know, become a better person here. This person sees that about you. Oh, wow. And I'm getting emotional. <laughs> okay. Um, let me see what else for the emperor. They've chosen the spiritual path here. So if they were a bad person before or did something bad, they are definitely not dealing with that shit no more what else for virgo spirit why is the emperor here one more card for the emperor king of cups yeah this person they've become emotionally intelligent emotionally mature they still might be guarded a bit because the king of cups is like someone that is very very emotional but they hold back their feelings here so does the emperor really <laughs> they're just mature about it you know they they it's, it's emotional intelligence is what I'm picking up. Yeah, they've gained some type of knowledge here. And they want to take this leap of faith, Aquarius energy, and offer you a stable beginning here. They're tired of feeling like everything is fine when it's not, you know. Everything is not fine. Kissing you by total is on. Yeah, this person is, is overflowing with emotions. They want to talk. They want to tell you how they feel here. They want some, they want a commitment with you. Oh, I feel so much love. <laughs> Y'all, sometimes I do cry. I'm not going to lie. Like, if I feel emotional, if I feel the emotions of somebody, somebody else, I will cry. <laughs> okay, the hermits. Why is the hermit here? What is this person doing? Or what are you doing? This could be your energy. person grew up a lot what is this hermit spirit <laughs> why is the hermit here for virgo what is going on with the hermit card the lovers yes i felt a very strong bond in the sun oh my gosh y'all <laughs> okay i'm sorry <laughs> um this is Gemini energy. This is Leo energy. You. <laughs> Whew. Okay. <laughs> I am so sorry, y'all. I do not be wanting to cry on 
in front of millions of people but this person loves you so much like this person sees you as a divine counterpart their perfect match the perfect balance of energies here like they love you they want to have kids with you like they see you as their end all be all here you know like they really really got a lot of love for you and i feel like they've <laughs> they've cried a lot i'm hearing since i'm crying i don't know like i'm so emotional <laughs> oh and then the ten of cups is right here i'm glad y'all can't see my face <laughs> um this person have went in with it like <laughs> i'm sorry they went within and realized that they really really love you here they see you as like could possibly be their twin flame or they really really learned about themselves and grew up they've grown with this being in the heart of your reading here in the middle they've grown up they've grown they've gained a sense of confidence about themselves i'm hearing they had to really go within and dig deep here it might not have been work that they wanted to do but they know that in order to get you and in order to be better for themselves they had to do the work and they've done the work here i see a total transformation here this person whatever they did to have to owe you apology twice they are really really sorry it's genuine here i feel genuine emotion so i'm feeling like don't be so quick to shoot this person away because they really love you and they're really really sorry for the things that they have done here they've done something wrong i feel like i just feel like this person just needed to grow up they were really immature before things have been illuminated to them as well by certain people that they've let in, in uh, into their lives certain people that they have let come in and be energy vampires or people that they've given too much to and and not and they haven't returned the favor or whatever they've let go of these people now that these people are like really trying to stop their progress here they're probably trying to stop this reconciliation you have with this person here or whatever but oh <sighs> What else for the Hermit Spirit? One more for the Hermit card. One more for the Hermit Spirit, guys. Maybe they've been enlightened about a past lover here, too. Like, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, as I said, that with the lovers here in the Three of Pentacles, they could have been enlightened about a work situation. Maybe somebody that they were working with trying to do something to them. Or with the lovers here, the lovers could also mean choices between two things or two people. So it could be you know, with this three of pentacles here that they might have chosen somebody else while trying to build things with you, I'm hearing. And it seems like you're really ready by R. Kelly. <laughs> so um, they, um, yeah, it could have been something around work or somebody that they were collabing with that they're now seeing that is a problem. Or they will be seeing this, but I feel like they have. I'm feeling so emotional about this. So, yeah. I feel like they've done a lot of research, too. Like, researching. If this is a twin flame connection, they've researched what this is. Like, they're to they're totally enlightened here. Can't nothing get past this person no more. Um, you know, I don't really... I'm not going to say anything about R. Kelly, but y'all know what I'm about to say. But why is this page of cups here for Virgo Spirit? I can't deny that he do make good music, though. <laughs> He's made some good music over the years, but, you know, that's a whole different subject. Why is the Page of Cups here for Virgo? Knight of Cups. Yeah, this this person has wanted to take you out. They're coming in with the offer. There's offers all over the place here. They wanted to give you something. They wanted to take you out. They wanted to show you the things that they didn't show you in the past, I'm hearing. Yeah, they're coming in with an offer. Oh, this this offer kind of end up um very sexual or something. <laughs> like it might be a romantic night or day or whatever. However, it's gonna happen. What else for Page of Cups? What else for the Page of Cups, spirit guys? 
temperance here. This is all about divine timing. All about divine timing. They're wanting to heal this connection here. They're wanting balance here with this six of cups being, I mean, six of pentacles being your overall energy. They're wanting to balance things out with you. They're wanting to harmonize, be back in harmony with you. Temperance stands for reconciliation too. So we have two cards of that on the table. Six of cups and the temperance. Sagittarius energy you could be dealing with that fire sign but yeah they're wanting to pour into you I'm hearing yeah one more for the page of cups spirit oh that's so sweet <laughs> what else for the page of cups the world yeah and the will of fortune wow the world Taurus Aquarius Leo and Scorpio energy yeah there was a cycle here that had to close in order for this to come about and it was all about divine timing it was all about patience you really um this person really wants to whine and die you like they just want to love up on you I feel so much love I'm sorry <laughs> I do like um this person wants to collab with you on something too with this three pentacles here they want to collab I feel like with you Maybe you're working on a project and they see you working on something or you're working on something and um, they're working on something and you see them, they want to work with you here. They feel like y'all could be like good business partners too. For some reason, I feel that way too. You know, you're supposed to mix business with pleasure, but sometimes it really works. <laughs> it works for people. Not everybody's the same. But um, with the world here, yeah, there was a cycle that had to close I feel like the divine is recognizing this person or recognizing you for your hard work too. Like they're seeing that the hard work that you put in to change yourself is going to be rewarded here with this love offer. This love that's coming into your life is going to change you. With the will of fortune here, yeah. This was fated to happen here. This is a destiny. This is something that's written in the stars for you and your person here. Wow, beautiful. Why is the Ace of Cups here, Spirit, for Virgo? What is going on with this Ace of Cups? Why is this Ace of Cups here? I can't believe I'm crying on YouTube. <laughs> Eight of Cups. Um, Yeah, they're walking towards this Ace of Cups. They're walking away from... They're walking away from things here. And going towards this ace of cups they're walking right into it they're walking away from things that no longer emotionally fulfill them or make them feel good about themselves i'm hearing make them feel less of themselves they're leaving all of that shit behind they're walking straight into this ace of cups somebody also could be walking away from an offer here that looked cute or looked good or something and somebody realized that that was a risk here something about it was fate with this moon here but i'm mostly feeling like somebody is walking into this love here why is this ace of cups here for virgo why is this ace of cups here two of wands yeah there had to have been a choice here being made it doesn't have to be between two people but it could possibly be <clears throat> somebody somebody is making plans now to give this love here they made their choice here they made their choice your body is calling by r kelly is on y'all y'all probably finna get pregnant too it's a cup stands for pregnancy y'all are probably gonna get pregnant <clears throat> a lot of love making music Watch out. Okay. <laughs> Two of Wands. Yes, they've made their choice. They're coming towards you with this love offer here. They've walked away from something. Let's see what else. Four Ace of Cups for Virgo. Yeah, they're not getting to a situation anymore or a person here. This death card and the Six of Pentacles they're not yeah the cherry at the bottom of the deck is a part of the outcome 
Okay, somebody is moving forward with will and determination. They are ambitious about the choice that they're making here. They're sure of it. But the four of swords and the everything is fine. Yeah, they are, they're walking away. They made their choice here. They're walking away from a person or a thing or whatever. I'm feeling strongly a person that stabbed them in the back here. They started pretending like, you know, that shit was okay. And it's not. There could have been a physical altercation here too with this four swords i'm laying down reminds me of like a hospital bed i hope that's not the case i'm really sorry to anyone that went through that but yeah they've been stabbed in the back they've been betrayed or this could be you or whatever flip it switch it but yeah they're they they've had to rest up before they can come towards you here and think about things contemplate things they're really working on making the right decisions here making more healthy choices not giving to people that are not giving to them equally yeah so there's new love coming in for y'all there's communication coming in for you guys and yeah it looks good virgo this reading was very beautiful <laughs> it was it was it really really was so let's see for Virgo spirit guys what do we have what is what is their oracle messages for Virgo spirit what is their um oracle messages here I think this person could be coming in with a peace offering a gift Responsibility. Ugh. This is my like third time seeing that card. Well, not even my third, probably like my fourth or fifth. Like people are going through it. Like they have a lot on their plate right now. For Virgo spirit. What do they need to hear? What is going on with Virgos? This deck is so pretty. Pretty colors. What is going on with my Virgos there, guys? <laughs> Rebirth. Rebirth, Queen of Air. So let's read Rebirth first. With every ending comes a new beginning. With all loss, grief, illness, depletion, or despair comes a new beginning. A rebirthing. Take a moment to regroup and contemplate your steps going forward. This is an omen of starting over, transitioning into a new cycle, new projects, new belief, new beliefs, newfound talents, or new abilities. Yeah, this person, they've gone through a rebirth, but I feel like you have too, especially if this is your twin flame. Y'all marry each other. <laughs> Queen of Air. This represents a feminine energy who could be an astrological air sign or have dominant air signs in their natal chart. Doesn't have to be feminine. They could just, this man could embody feminine energy, you know? But um, you could be dealing with a strong air sign. Or you could have this highly aspected in your chart. Or your person does. A queen of air displays traits of intellect, deep thinking, leadership, innovative ideas, analysis, and communication. Writing, speaking, and problem solving are important. She is an achiever and a pioneer. Yeah. What else, spirit? Roberta. Pilgrimage. Why are they playing this song over? I know we played, this song came on like two times in this reading. <laughs> Spirit is inviting you to make a journey to a sacred place of homecoming. You are being called to a higher purpose. It is time for the next step on your spiritual path. Signs, messages, and synchronicity will show you the way. Rites of passage will help you earn the badges of honor and humility involved. Get ready to abandon the familiar. Yep, that's what they're doing. <laughs> Abandoning the familiar with the seven of wands. <laughs> What else? One more for Virgo. Dag. Spirit, I just asked for one. <laughs> okay. Queen of Air, abundance and moderation. So Queen of Air could be dealing with a uh, fire sign here. This represents a feminine energy who could, who could be an astrological fire sign or have dominant fire signs in their natal chart. A queen of fire displays 
Traits of passion, intensity, creativity, love for community and leadership. She is innovative. She brings transformation, transmute, transmutation. It's daring, dynamic, and enthusiastic. Abundance. It's time to celebrate the arrival of abundance in your life. Good news has arrived. This could be financial blessings, spiritual wealth, higher learning, or mastery with a project you've been working hard to complete. You are about to receive the rewards for your efforts. The fruit of your labors have ripened for harvest. Wow. Great. Moderation. This is an omen that you or someone around you may be overdoing it. This could represent overindulgence, vanity, or imbalance. This brings attention to traits of narcissism, substance abuse, intensity, lack of discipline, or impulsive behavior. Pause. Healthier habits are needed. Intervention is coming. Yeah. Mm. Somebody around you is probably just going too much. Like... I don't know. I feel like these people that you're guarded against is like doing the absolute most. <laughs> but whatever, you're overcoming that anyway. So it doesn't even really matter, Virgo. But congratulations in advance. I really loved you all's reading. Um, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I really, really appreciate the love and support once again. And um, I hope you guys have a good day, a good evening, good night, whatever time it is in the world that you're watching this. And enjoy the rest of your day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.